Hi, my name is Shane Kaufman. I'm a product engineer with Cadence, and I'm going to show you today how to take a Spectre netlist and import that into Microwave Office for uh, RF analysis. So talking quickly today about how to bring in a Spectre netlist into Microwave Office for simulation and analysis and potentially design of other um, RF and microwave components around the design or, or test bench is bring in from uh, Virtuoso and Spectre. Um, here we have um, a Spectre netlist on disk and looking at this in a, a text editor, uh, we have all of the various uh, devices and test benches and we can see that we have uh, you know, the include paths with uh, the grid style locations coming over from the Unix based system. And in my uh, Spectre folder here, I've just got the includes that are necessary for simulation uh, you know, of this particular uh, netlist. And what I want to show today is how we can, in a few uh, seconds here, bring this netlist into Microwave Office and set it up for uh, RF simulation uh, in the AWR design environment. So under scripts, I have uh, import models from Spectre netlist. And this assumes a location uh, next to the project for the test bench or netlist of interest. And what this has done is this has created two sub-circuits in Microwave Office. Um, one was the simulation test bench as it is defined in the netlist. And the second is each of the uh, sub-circuit definitions in that netlist that don't actually have the electrical connectivity. Um, this test bench, as as you would expect, it does have the same electrical connectivity as, as is defined uh, in the, in the netlist. And what this allows the user to do is, is bring this netlist in, set up their own uh, test benches and their RF measurements in um, the AWR design environment. And here we can see we have a couple of different test benches, a linear and a power sweep, which are using um, you know, those test benches, a slightly modified version of them. And that allows us to be able to um, set up our RF measurements, and I'll expand this, and here we can see we're looking at linear, nonlinear, and system level measurements. We have uh, S parameters of this power amplifier. We have a single tone power sweep, so input um, power on the x-axis and power and power added efficiency on the y-axis. And looking at the um, system level for performance, we have some AM to AM curves, some uh, spectrums uh, before and after the amplifier, and lastly the uh, adjacent channel power ratio. So in summary, in a you know, very short amount of time, we're able to bring in a Spectre netlist and simulate that in Microwave Office. Thanks for watching, and please visit cadence.com for more information.